Nearly four years ago, the European Parliament adopted in a first reading the draft Maternity Leave Directive. Since then, the text has been blocked by a number of member states. Is there a chance this directive will ever come into force? And in a nutshell, what the European Parliament proposed in 2010 was a minimum of 20 weeks full paid maternity leave for, for women. Plus it strengthened other rights around, for example, strengthened rights around dismissal for pregnant workers. So it's a very important proposal. As you point out in your question, the, uh, the whole proposal has been blocked in the European Council since 2010, so it's now four years overdue. Um, the European Commission has therefore proposed that we shelve the legislation as part of measures to reduce bureaucracy in the EU. Now, we think that women's rights and rights of families are not red tape. So we think it's really important that the maternity leave directive is put back on the table. Measures to strengthen maternity rights are, are essential if we want to uh, have more greater equality between women and men. And certainly across the EU, parenthood is the main factor in limiting women's earning power and participation in the labour market. So a strengthened maternity leave directive would have a huge impact in terms of addressing uh, the gender pay gap, child poverty and other types of social inclusion. In May, in the European elections, European citizens made a really clear message to the European institutions that they are not really happy with what's going on. And we think if Europe wants to reconnect with citizens, it needs to demonstrate tangible benefits in terms of improved rights. The Maternity Leave Directive, if it's put back on the table, would ensure immediate benefits for millions of families across the EU and would give a clear signal to European citizens that Europe actually cares. So yes, it can be saved, and we hope that it will be saved. Uh, the European Parliament and the Italian Presidency of the EU are now in negotiations to see whether they can salvage the directive, and we think that is absolutely essential. If you'd like to ask a question, go to the Euronews website or visit our social media pages.